Okay, got some hives going on right now. Um, they're quite big. It started about an uh, hour and a half, almost two hours ago, around 9 uh, p.m. It's almost 11. It's a big one on my on my ankle right there. Um, Yeah, just compared to the size of a pen. Well, right there. This big white spot, this whole thing. This whole thing right here. And the, the big lump right here. Yeah, see it's about a little bit bigger than the size of my thumb. Uh, there's a bunch of little ones the inside outside of my leg. Right there. one right there about the size of my fingernail right there and a couple on the inside of my thigh this one right there and And really, there's um, been getting these uh, these puss nodules behind my ear, my face, all over my back. There's a big one right here on the side of my cheek. This one right here, and a big one right there. Uh, but this has been going on for maybe two or three days. It's all over my back too. Uh, but the high just started tonight. Um, I was out all day um, in Hollywood area meeting uh, for uh, the stock uh, tutorial website that I'm putting together with Corey Rosenblum. And then afterwards, I, I headed over to Venice Beach to have dinner with uh, Blake Sirier uh, just to hang out and talk about some video ideas and stuff. So I don't think there was anything specifically that would have set off uh, my allergies, but um, you know these hives definitely, definitely um, pretty noticeable and and itching pretty bad. Um, took uh, uh, some antihistamines earlier about an hour ago, and they're finally starting to kick in. Um, Zyrtec, Pepsid, and and um, Doxapen. So it took about an hour and a half for that to kick in, um, but it's feeling better now. So, um, so I, I'm not as worried because when when these highs are coming on, they were pretty red. All the spots that I showed you that were you know lighter in color, they were dark purple. I took some pictures of it, um, and it just kept on sp spreading. So. Um, I was getting worried like blood was pulsing and flowing into um, all those areas and um, I was afraid I was gonna have to go to the ER or something if it just kept on going because I didn't really I don't know what's causing it um, I had the only thing I had for to eat later today was McDonald's that I had with Blake and I just got what I usually get uh, daily double uh, no sauces on it um, had a McChicken, but I use I often get that too. Uh, what else? And I had El Pollo Loco early, early this morning. So I mean, it didn't show throughout the day. So I don't know if I'm just tired and it's just breaking out from that. If it's because uh, I've been for 
you know, two or so months now, been on lower dose of cyclosporin and, and my body's just catching up. You know, medication can, can drop, which I've taken less of the medication, but the body takes a while to process that. And let's say cyclosporin, when I was at a higher dose, was holding my body up here. Well, now it came down here, but my body had this cushion, this health that it had built up past couple months so now I'm slowly spending it maybe I don't know but um, that might be the case or um, maybe it's I've been drinking too much Gatorade just because um, I started drinking that last two months after getting back from Utah because I was really exhausted all the time and Dr. Leiferman thought uh, drinking some Gatorade or something with electrolytes would help with some some nutrients that I'm not getting from from my food and and Elocare. so um, not really sure what what why I'm getting these hives. Um, it's also pretty hot today, or hotter than average lately. It was about 90 degrees when I was out in LA today, so that wasn't too comfortable. But you know, I was able to be out for a full day. You know up at 7 or so this morning and it's 10, 11 so I'm having a good day as far as like energy wise um, yeah probably just rest and hopefully this will go away